it's uh, fairly simple, uses less components, and probably the method that was used historically by shooters in the 1800s. Um, also, uh, there would really be no contamination of the powder. Well, after a number of shots, it'll become more difficult to load those chambers because there's following that builds up inside there, where if you're using some kind of a lube or, or a um, wad inside the chambers, that helps to uh, keep that following soft. Unless some kind of a lube is applied to the arbor, uh, that cylinder rotation is going to get uh, quite a bit more difficult, again, after repeated shots. Group size seems to increase after a uh, number, number of uh, cylinders are shot, and uh, chances of flyers, again, seems to increase. The barrel seems to accumulate uh, falling pretty rapidly. It makes cleaning a lot uh, tougher, and with no lube inside the barrel, it's possible, I suppose, it rust. It may rust easier, but um, you know we didn't do any testing on that. And without using a uh, wad or, or a lube, there, I suppose, is a chance that some hot gas from the adjacent cylinder, when it goes off, could find its way past the bullet um, if there isn't uh, a complete seal made there. We're talking about the uh, advantages of using lube then on the end of the chambers. One of the things that um, no doubt does is to reduce the chance of a chain fire, in other words, uh, uh, hot gas getting, getting by the uh, ball and into the powder and igniting that next chamber. Another thing it does, it seems to keep the falling soft so that successive shots can actually push that falling out the barrel and um, this uh, seems to uh, result in smaller group sizes. No more shots can be fired before cleaning is necessary and that's because the falling stays, stays soft, it doesn't seem to cake up and that also makes um, loading easier and cleanup easier. Another side benefit could be that it uh, helps prevent rusting or um, corrosion of the, of the barrel itself. We haven't done any testing on this of course but we're just kind of comparing this to um, you know keeping grease in a frying pan it makes a big difference as far as the rusting goes. And I guess that's one of the reasons why when I'm cleaning the guns I don't use soap or especially not detergents. Um, if you've ever cleaned a uh, uh, iron frying pan, that way you'll know right away what I'm talking about as far as how it uh, will rust right up on you. Disadvantages, probably number one has to be uh, it's messy and this stuff can get your hands greased up to the point where you might have a hard time uh, hanging on to the gun. Also there's an additional uh, hassle with doing it, I mean it adds one more step um, to the process. There's additional costs if you're purchasing a lube because you're going to use it up quite a bit on the end of those chambers. You know, if you're making or purchasing, there's the hassle of getting the correct stiffness. Um, it can be, if it's too stiff, end up blowing out the, the barrel just as a chunk. And it's not going to do what we want it to do then. Or it's too loose, um, ends up uh, making a mess, melted lube on the bench, or possibly in a holster. Again here, as we mentioned, using the lube method, this does add an extra layer of protection against a chain fire, possible chain fires. We did find in the test that uh, we ran here is that the a variation in speeds uh, from uh, shot to shot were the lowest of the three methods of shooting here for, the, uh, for using the wad, so that would be a positive thing. Sizes for the groups were considerably smaller than shooting uh, shooting dry, not maybe quite up to uh, using the lube, but uh, best definitely very good. Loading into the chambers uh, from one string to the next uh, definitely seemed fairly easy, as it seems that the wad uh, put some lube on the inside of the chambers, and that definitely um, helps when seeing the ball down. Again, like in the case of using the lube. Uh, we're getting less falling in the barrel and uh, makes it clean out clean out easier and also possibly helps um, to prevent some of the rusting that uh, we might get if the um, lube wasn't there. We're using a wad does add one more thing to do here 
in the loading process. Uh, we can say though that it um, seems quite a bit easier than using the, the lube system. And there is of course an added cost if you're going to uh, purchase commercial wads and extra uh, labor hassle involved if you're um, doing it yourself. Although that might might be enjoyable for some folks, but um, otherwise that's one of the another probably disadvantage of the of the. Wad. Next thing here might not be a disadvantage, but the speeds on the average seem to be lower by 10-15 uh, percent when we're using the wads than they were with either shooting dry or or with the lube. And I say that may may not be a an issue, but um, we should make a note of that. So as far as how the test might change or alter the shooting that I'll be doing in the future, you know, one thing I can say for sure, I'm not going back to uh, shooting without any uh, lube or wads or anything. I mean, I started out back in the 60s doing that. We used a, used a uh, I think, some old felt that we found someplace and soaked it in some kind of beeswax. And actually, I think I realize now it did absolutely nothing as far as um, actual wads go. And I may as well have been shooting, shooting dry at that point. So I, I'm not going back to doing that after the test that I uh, run here. So I'll be continuing to use the lube, but I did find out that uh, I had one, one time I was shooting that was kind of cool, and I actually used a, a knife to um, uh, put the chunks of lube in, inside the chambers. And I actually found one of those. I could maybe make, put that in one of the videos. I found one of those chunks down on the, on the target area. It just hadn't changed any, so that's just not doing the job. So I'm going to be more, more concerned about the consistency of that lube and making sure that it's, uh, you know, where I want it. I also plan to do some more testing using the wads because they actually turned in some pretty decent groups and and the results were, um, were as good or, or actually better than I, uh, better than I figured. So I'm going to do some more testing there because I think I've stumbled onto possible reason why the speeds were, like I say, 10, 15, maybe even 20 percent in some cases, less than when I was shooting uh, dry or, or with a lube. So I think I maybe have some ideas and there was not necessarily what I thought that would be using the wads, why the speeds are less. Also, I think I ran across maybe a reason why I'm getting some possible flyers occasionally when, when shooting with the wads, so I'll do some investigating on that. You know, otherwise, um, our results here are pretty well, pretty well verified things that I have I've done in the past, you know, occasionally when I'm shooting this or that, but I put them all together kind of in one, well, actually in two or three days, um, so I could kind of compare them side by side to see if those things were actually uh, true or just uh, just things that happened. So, you know, with that, I enjoyed the, the process here, and I hope um, people watching this get something out of it and as I say I would encourage anybody to go back and actually watch the uh, three or four videos that uh, were made when I'm actually shooting those guns so other than that um, like I say we had a, had a good time doing this and hopefully it's helpful.